Hi guys, it's Hallie. Welcome to another Thrifty Thursday where I visit a local thrift store in search of tingly items to share with you. This week's Thrifty Thursday is a very special one. It's a hotel edition Thrifty Thursday. I'm currently on a road trip sort of across the country to uh, attend a family member's wedding. So I'm filming this from a hotel very late at night. So you may hear some uh, plane noises, some traffic noises. I hope that it won't be too disturbing and I'll do my best to uh, edit them down to a minimum. So, Thrifty Thursday. If you're not familiar with Thrifty Thursday, there are three basic rules that I have to follow. Rule number one, my purchase at the thrift store can be no more than $5. Rule number two, the item that I choose, or items, have to be not only tingle-worthy, but also useful to me in my own life. And rule number three, on my trip to the thrift store, I have to donate something of mine that I'm no longer using, but could be of benefit to someone else. So, on this trip to the thrift store, I found something that I've always wanted to use in an ASMR video in particular, and I've seen them done before. And this is something I've always actually wanted to own, but just never did. They're really cool. So I'm going to show you. It is a Zen garden. And um, this is just a, um, if you're never not familiar with this, it's a little tray. This is a kit. It's a little tray and you fill it up with sand and it comes with all these little stones and some fun little rakes and you just use it to clear your mind and um, reflect and find peace and you just use the rakes to make little designs in the sand and place the stones around. I think this is probably something that was popular maybe in the uh, 80s or 90s to have in your office if you're a person of business. So I found this at the thrift store for $3.99. sure because I slept some of the way here, but I think we might be near an airport. So that's why this is happening. Anyway, so um, this one, this kit, comes with a little aromatherapy candle also. Sadly, um, I don't have a lighter or matches or anything on me. Um, so I probably won't be able to light it for you. And I don't think I can find anything here in the hotel. But I'll show it to you. Zen gardening for you. So let's go check it out. Okay guys, I have sort of unboxed and set up my little Zen garden and I'm going to read you the little, little booklet that came with to sort of tell you how to do it. But these are all my uh, accoutrements everything that came with it. Now this obviously is second hand, so these items are a bit careworn. So just this looking a little wonky, but that's okay. Okay. So this is the little booklet that came with it. That sort of tells you a little bit about um, what some of the symbols are and Zen garden is sort of used for. So I'm gonna play with this for a little bit. Okay. Let's see. This says, take the time to bring balance and harmony into your room with this interactive work of
The Zen Garden is a simulation of real Buddhist Zen gardens throughout Asia. Let the Zen Garden bring balance and a greater sense of harmony and peace to your home. included. We have a slate finish tray, which is what this is, four tools, a Finely ground marble sand, which is what's in this bag right here. Seven polished stones, which are also inside the bag. I'm not sure if there are still seven in there. There might be some missing since this is second hand. Slate finish base is for the candle to rest on, so we'll set that here for now. Just put everything over just a little bit. There sure are a lot of airplanes near this hotel. marble sand.
found this previously threw it in there for some reason because it doesn't match the other stones it's not a polished I'm very, very excited to try this out. Before I do, I'm going to read you a little bit more. Clean the stone off. Set sand all over it. See, it's nice and shiny. Cleaning this hotel room is going to be angry and confused about the sand on this desk. I'm just kidding, I'll clean it up. Okay. Read a little bit more. So, uh, the Zen Garden symbols. The rock. symbols of an island in the center of a sea. Sand represents a calm or rough sea which provides energy. When you have uneven, excuse me, uneven groupings of rocks, that represents harmony. Interesting. Okay. So this is very, very lightly printed and probably difficult to see, but I'm going to attempt to show it to you anyway. There's a little column down here that says patterns to try, and it's printed in very, very light, and you really might not be able to see it, but it gives you uh, ideas for little patterns to try and make in the sand with the stone.
There are some Zen garden principles I'll read to you while I attempt this pattern. Mm -hmm. This is what we're going to do. Maybe I should get this rake instead. Well, let's just play with it and see what happens. Zen garden principles. Less is more. Simplicity is the key to slowing down your thinking and soothing your emotions. Each rock should be enriched by evenly raked sand. When placing rocks in your Zen garden, a sense of harmony is achieved. When grouping rocks together in uneven numbers. Interesting. So, in groups of three, five maybe. So this is interesting. It says always rake forward towards you rather than pushing the rake backwards and away from you. This method creates shib what says it? shibumi. Shibumi. Which means a continuous motion. So it should be raked towards me, but not away from me like that. Separating of the rocks adds strength and power to the whole design. The idea is that one good thought is separate and yet, at the same time, related to other thoughts. So there's a pattern on here that goes with, with that. I'm going to try put these back.
circles versions of real Buddhist scent gardens. Okay, so you put one stone in this circle and three stones here. And then I'll read that again. It says, the separating of the rock son with me also and he's watching Sesame Street Disney movies in the backseat so we'll see how it goes but I'm pretty hopeful Oh, it's good. 
the instructions. It says how to use your Zen card. Remove kit components from box. Done. Place empty tray on a smooth, level surface. Also done. Take a large bag of sand from kit and evenly distribute in tray. Replacement sand is included in the event your Zen garden is accidentally tipped. to begin experiencing the calming effects of sand gardening. Place your stones selectively to create a focused thought. Enhance your design with creative sand patterns using the rigs provided. Use your sand smoother to clear your mind. road trip he's ever taken. He's doing really, really well. I'm so proud of him. He hasn't fussed or complained or thrown a fit or anything. He's being really well behaved and just really happy in a group. Of course, he is just a really happy, agreeable child, so that helps. Actually, it's really <laughs> relaxing. Trying it a lot. with the sand with my hands a little bit because it's just so soft and wonderful. I wish I had a little spoon or something to 
one's nice too. Feels like. I don't know. It almost feels like kind of like sugar. But softer, you know. This doesn't really feel like regular beach sand. I guess because it's marble sand. shoes and a tie, a necktie. We'll see how he feels about that. He might have no part in that. But I got it. Because I want him to wear it. I truly have no idea how he's going to sit through a wedding ceremony, but 
be invited. I get the sense that this wedding's gonna be pretty casual. Anyway. So, I'm not too worried about it. sure yet where I'm gonna put this in my home. I was thinking maybe my bedroom, but this is one of those things that you really don't want your two-year-old getting into. And uh, there isn't really anywhere Some of you find the sound of airplanes calling, and they won't be too disturbing to you. I hope that that is the case. Well guys, I'm getting extremely sleepy, <laughs> playing with my new Zen card. you enjoyed this week's Thrifty Thursday. And I will be seeing you guys again.